Hey, it's Phil from 15minuteguitarpractice.com. Let's talk about chords, the kind of chords you see other people playing and you don't really recognize them. You know, you'll be watching like a, a music video or something and the guitar player's doing some stuff that you like, well, that's not an open chord. And that's not a bar chord that I'm familiar with. So what is it? Well, that's a fair question. And a lot of the times before before YouTube and the internet and all the good stuff that you guys have got right now came about, um, the rare glimpses of guitar players' fingers that I would see on television, um, I would go, what the hell is that? So let's delve into that. Let's delve into that right now. So my first assumption is that you know your open chords. Okay. And you know some, maybe not all, um, your bar chords. So here we've got a, a root six bar chord. Okay, root six means the root starts on the sixth string. This is a G major. Okay, and you might know the root six minor chord shape. Okay, and hopefully you know some root five chord shapes. Here's your major, your minor, your minor seven, your dominant seven. So, I mean, even if you don't know all of those, don't worry, because what we're going to be deciphering and trying to figure out is some stuff where you see like guys doing this and this and this and like just that. What chords are they? Well, sometimes things are obvious, sometimes things um, are less obvious because they could be one of several chords. And I'll get to that um, right now. So let's take, um, let's take this, okay? <laughs> Top three notes, okay? We're on fret three, strings three, two, and one. <laughs> Top three strings. Now, if you see that, you're like, oh, well, that's obvious. That is just the top part of a root six minor chord. And, and you'd be right, okay? These top three notes are top three of that G minor chord, okay? So that's good. But then things can get a bit weird because, well, it's really depending on what the other guys in the band are playing against those three notes that determines what it is, okay? So you may have to listen for context from a keyboard player or more importantly, probably the bass player because these three notes that you're playing on the guitar that you think is a G minor can actually not be a G minor. So let's look at some things that they could be. Now, if your bass player is playing this note here, against what you're playing, it will sound like this. You hear that beautiful summery sound? That sound of summer is the sound of a major seven chord. Now, how did you go from playing what you thought was a G minor to a major seven chord? Now, what was that major seven? This is an E flat major seven. Well, because your bass player decided to play that particular note and that particular note mixed with the notes you're playing changes the chord to make it an E flat major seven. Okay, so you've got two choices there. But unfortunately, that's not where it stops. If he plays another note, it could change to another chord. So, I mean, if he plays this note here, if he plays an E against your top three notes, you get this, which is a diminished chord. It is a, an E diminished chord. Okay, so now you've got a choice of three that that could be. But there's more. <laughs> As if it's not confusing up, there's more. Let's have a think. If he played this note here, if he played a C against this, you get this, which could be one of several things. It could be part of a kind of C minor with a, a bit missing. It could be part of a C minor ninth. It could be part of a, just a C nine. 
So it's really confusing, but the best thing to do, rule of thumb, number one, if you see the top three notes of something on the top three strings, um, try and align it with one of your bar chords that you know. Okay, minor, major, root six, root five, even root fours, okay? Root fours, are, you may not be familiar with, but this, this D shape here is actually just the top three notes of, which makes that a G. So start there, and if it still doesn't sound right, uh, if you're playing along to the record and you're playing like a, you know, try and play the full chord instead of the the top three strings just to confirm whether it is indeed that chord. If it doesn't sound right, then you've got to start digging a bit deeper. Okay, so that's all for now, and I um, hope that's maybe answered a few questions as well as probably thrown up a few more for you, but you know, that's the nature of music. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing. It's all depending on the other notes not just the notes you're playing, but the context of the other notes from typically the bass player, maybe the keyboard player. All right, bye for now.